in part one, we left off with the, uh, the body created. And the next part is we're going to learn how to make this sweep. And this sweep has three sketches associated with it. And we can see that it has, which would be the path, the, the rear of the handle, the front of the handle, And it has also the handle profile that was created to, for the sweep. You can see that the handle profile is embedded in there and also that it's been placed on the XZ plane. And you can see that they match up as so. We're going to do the same technique here and let's start off by looking at that, that sketch. And if we hit F7, we can slice graphics. And you can see it's kind of an egg-shaped profile. And also, you can see that it goes right through the center point. And you can see it highlighted over here. So we'll create the same thing. We don't have to be perfect with it. But we want to try and, um, the whole idea is that we're learning how, how these, uh, these features were created. So let's go to our clone that we're making over here and do the same thing. So we're going to start out here with our plane here. And we can see that that's the plane that was used there. And we're just going to place a sketch on this plane. Okay, we can slice graphics and look at it from the top. I like looking at it, trying to keep my, my bearings here, looking at it like this. And you can see that that center point has already been projected on here. This was created as a spline and we want to start our spline from that point. You can see that that dot turns green and want to be somewhere and line it up like this maybe not quite so big and we're going to finish that up like that all right let's compare I could be a little bit wider here so we'll drag this up drag this up here probably a little bit longer this way. Now with, with splines, you can right click on any control point and activate the handle. And you can see how that affects the shape. And I'll do the same thing over here. Activate the handle. And it would make sense that these handles should be horizontal. So I'm going to put a, also put a uh, horizontal constraint on them. And there we are. And let's put a horizontal constraint on that one. I'm not sure if I got it, but we'll find out. So you can see I can't drag it. I can drag it this way, but not up and down. Same thing with this one. It can't be, I can't drag it vertical. These should have vertical constraints on it. So we'll do the same thing here. We'll activate the handle. And I'm going to put a vertical constraint on that handle. And we'll activate this handle that we have on this side. And that should also have a vertical constraint on it too. Okay, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. 
uh, we're just learning how to basically kind of get this. Now also, um, we want to, to um, here I know, we want to keep uh, it symmetrical this way. So let's do the same thing here. Let's add a line. Let's make it, uh, a it can be a construction line or a center line, and we'll use construction. And that should have also a horizontal constraint placed on it. Okay. Hopefully we didn't crash. Sketch constraint already exists. Okay, I'm fine with that too. So let's go ahead and finish our sketch. And we'll go like so. Next step then is we want to create the path for the back of this. And you can see that that's what was called handle rear. And that has been placed on the XY plane. So we'll do the same thing here. We'll put a sketch on the XY plane. We can slice graphics. We can see how that sketch sticks out. And you can see that the origin is more or less our reference point. So let's go ahead now and create another spline. We're going to snap to that point. We'll come out somewhere around here. And come down to about here. Now, our control points can be adjusted and moved around however you want. However, when we finish this, this handle should be vertical. So let's activate that handle. If Since this is going to be our path, if um, we don't make that vertical, our, our profile is going to end up angling up at, at an angle like so. So let's put a vertical constraint on this handle. Okay, and that's going to look like this. We'll finish that sketch and we're going to place another sketch on the same plane. Okay, we can also slice graphics on this. And this sketch has also been made from a spline. Now, before we do that, we want to project geometry onto our sketch plane so we can attach actually to that point. So in other words, if I try to just make my spline here, you notice that I'm not getting a green dot. I'm not actually attaching to that point. So I'm going to project geometry and I want to project that point to my sketch plane. Now I'm going to use my spline and now we can see that we can actually attach to it. So we want a few peaks like so and we can finish it off down here. Oh, I picked on. All right, now if we look at this sketch that was used here, we can see that they've made them 10 millimeters apart and one, two, three peaks and finished off down here. This is approximately 31.75. We're not going to worry too much about that. And um, we'll try to get it close to that. You can see that this handle here, the rear part, you can see that they kind of line up on the bottom. So let's look at ours. And what 
what I want to do here is I got probably too many. So I'm going to adjust this. Straighten this one out. And I'm going to delete that control point. Okay. All right, if we want to uh, take time and dimension this, we could. As you can see, that this one was done here. In the interest of time, let's just get it to look nice. And it would make sense that these handles would need to be activated, which it already is. I would think we want to have these handles vertical, since that's where it transitions. should also be vertical. Okay. You can definitely play around with these things for a long time. Let's finish that sketch. We have met the requirements for a sweep. A good way to see this is uh, let's go to a wireframe view and now you can see basically what we have you can see how we're attached here we're attached here now let's go ahead and do our sweep now this sweep um, we can ignore this because we're using this type here a path and a guide rail and our profile has already been highlighted. Our path is going to be this back here, and our guide rail will be this. So you can see what happens here is that it's going to scale it both in the X and Y. And as I rotate this around, you can see it's nice and flat on the bottom. Now, if I wouldn't have made this control point handle vertical and this were angled, this would have gone up at, you know, perpendicular to that handle. So if the handle was angled like this, this profile would have ended up here. So that's, that's an important step to this. Um, this could use a little more tweaking, but in the interest of time, I think you get the idea. Let's go back to our shaded view with edges. Actually, let's not see the edges. There we are. Now, that is the sweep handle. If we, um, if I was making this, I think I probably would fix that a little bit. It's a little odd shape, but it works. Okay, next, we're going to stop right here. Next, we'll look at um, what else was done to create this part.